Good morning, folks. Pastor Rocky Branch. Hope you're doing great today. Well, in Matthew chapter 17 is a very important story, beginning at the first verse. It's called the Transfiguration of Jesus Christ. He goes up on the mountain. He takes Peter, James, and John, and there Moses and Elijah appears with Jesus Christ. And Peter, James, and John witness this incredible account. And the Bible says in the book of Luke that they talk about the death of Christ in Jerusalem. Now Moses lived 900 years before Jesus and Elijah 700 years. And here's two patriarchs in the Bible that are incredible in Israel's history. And there they have been raised up and they appear with Jesus Christ. Now this passage tells us an enormous amount of things, all of which I don't have the time to get on all of what it tells us. But what I want to draw your attention to is what it does for us. Now, Jesus is transformed. They see him in his power. And Luke says he's white as snow. And here the light glistens upon him and he becomes transformed before Peter, James, and John to the point that they bow their heads and in just absolute honest and in humility and the presence of power. And what happens here is that Jesus is giving Peter, James, and John, which would be the cornerstones of the new church, he's giving them an experience worth dying for. And I want you to hear me. When they are talking, when Jesus is talking to Elijah and Moses, and the men, Peter, James, and John, up on that mountain have to bow their heads out of just absolute uh, humility and the awesomeness of power, when they raise their head back up after hearing a voice from heaven of saying, this is my son in whom I'm well pleased, hear ye him. It's interesting to know that these three men, the cornerstone of the church, they were committed for the rest of their lives to die for Jesus, to serve Jesus, to do whatever because of this experience. Now, they had a little rough edges on them, just like we do. But they had an experience at this point, seeing the glory of God, and that experience for them was worth dying for. Now let me ask you this question. Have you had an experience with Jesus? Now this is very important. Have you had an experience with Jesus Christ in your life that you say, I, I, I'm convinced that he's the Christ? I am convinced that Jesus is the Christ. Now, everybody's different, so you can't say, well, I don't act like this person, or I don't act like that person, so I must not be fully committed. No, everybody's different in that respect. So it's not how you necessarily act like someone else or face things like someone else. It's what's inside of you and what has happened to you. Now, has that happen to you? Have you experienced a situation that you say, I am convinced this is the Christ. I could die right now and be happy because this is Jesus Christ. Do you know him as Savior, Lord, and Master? And if you do, if you have had that experience, well, wasn't it good enough? Now, the relationship building that we have with Christ is to trust him with ourselves, to trust in him for who he is, and to trust that I will follow him for my future. And it's critical to understand this point. If you've had one prayer answered, just one prayer answered, say amen back there. All right, just one. Just one that you knew that you prayed, God heard, Nobody could answer it but God. One prayer answer. Say amen again. Well, let me ask you a question. Is there ever a need for another prayer to be answered to believe that he's Jesus? You see, our doubt systems come in when we have witnessed the glory of God, the power of God, and we're looking for something else. Because of our situation, our circumstances, we're just looking for another sign, another wonder, another miracle. No, get your mind made up. Get your mind made up. Get your mind right about you. Know who you're dealing with. 
and know that whether valley or hill, he'll get you through. Sea storm, hail storm, wind storm, life storm. No matter what, when you put your anchor in the Lord Jesus Christ, he'll get you through. So don't get scattered when things go awry and you say, Lord, are you there? Well, do you believe he's there? Have you had that experience with him? Oh, yes, you say, I've had that. Well, then listen, no matter what comes in the height above or in the depth below or the hell that's under the depth, nothing can overpower you if you've had that experience with Jesus Christ. Oh, you say, I'm a bit weary. Well, amen. We're all a bit weary. But where can you go back to in your life and say, you know what? He did it there. Thank God he'll do it again. Say amen. He'll do it again. No matter where you are today, he will do it again. Well, he's got the power to do that. And I trust that you'll lock into it. And I trust you've had that experience. If not, he is awaiting your presence for power to be given and assurance in his name that nothing is impossible with our God. You be blessed today. God bless you. We love you. And goodbye.